what's up YouTube? In today's video, I just wanna show you a new tool that I just bought online. It's a Ryobi OnePlus 18 volt cordless pole hedge trimmer. Um, this is what it looks like here. If you can check out this awesome product, I'll leave a link down in the description below for you. But this thing's awesome because it's interchangeable with all the Ryobi 18 volt products. So here are the batteries that I use. Both of these are Ryobi 18 volt batteries, but the difference is this one is a 1.5 um, amp hour battery. And then this one's a little more powerful. I think this is a four amp one right here. So the small 1.5 amp hour battery lasts multiple jobs around the home. I have a lot of bushes and um, crepe myrtles and stuff like that that I trim and I still have at least one bar. This heavier duty one, the four amp hour one will last multiple jobs. Um, so this is the battery to go to if you have multiple jobs that are very intense with a lot of brush to cut. And these also have the little indication of the power level that you have left when you click on the button right over there. But both of these work with all the products that I have because these are all 18 volt compatible. So my blower, this new head trimmer I bought, and this pole saw um, all work with these batteries. So a few fun facts about this Ryobi one. 18 volt hedge trimmer is it can extend up to nine feet. It has this little extension right here you can screw in or you can take this middle piece out and connect this piece to this piece. It also can cut up to five eighths capacity, which means um, I did this already in the backyard. I'm gonna show you um, what it's capable of, but five eighths is like right there. So a little bit smaller than this, it can cut up to. And then it also has four positions that you can pivot the head. You just push this little button right here and you can rotate this thing um, to, at different angles. All right, so here it is in person. You can see how you can fit up to five eighths in there. So it has a little guard right here. Um, this is the button that you push to pivot it and articulate the head wherever you like. When you just buy this thing, it actually has this cover that slides right on here. It also comes with this little arm brace. I don't really use it because it kind of gets in my way, but it basically goes right on that loop there and right over here. And then to engage this thing and get it to turn on, you do have to slide this down and pull the trigger. So slide and pull it, and as you can see there, that's what it looks like in action. So here's the battery right back over here. All you have to do is just pinch the sides of the battery on the left and right hand sides and it slides right on out, just like that. And I like the heavier battery because it helps to offset how heavy the front is. So in my opinion, this thing is not really good for someone that's not very strong because it is kind of top heavy, especially once you use that extension pole, it gets really hard to maneuver it. So, but, um, but for what I do, it does definitely come in handy. And I still like this product because it beats using the hedge, hedge uh, trimmers doing it manually. So here I am cutting the front yard and as you can see, it's really easy to use these hedge trimmers. You just have to angle that blade where you wanna cut as far as your plane goes. And if you do run into some very thick spots, it will create a little bit of resistance. That's normal. So you just keep going and just take your time with it. Just make sure that the pieces aren't larger than 5 8 inch. I definitely enjoy using the articulating head, especially if the pole's a little bit too long. You can create an angle and it makes it really nice to get behind like the columns you see there. And I just use a nice little sweeping motion to try and keep it nice and consistent. If for some reason that you miss certain parts, you can always just kind of fluff it out and then cut the pieces if they don't stick out enough for the uh, hedge trimmers to catch it. I definitely will keep these hedge trimmers or bush trimmers in my shed as a handy tool to cut my yard every season to maintain everything. So I just got these bushes over here knocked out, as you can see over here. This piece and all these bushes right back here as well. And I also did this purple diamond bush. So this is a quick look at everything I've done so far. This is the side of the house. These are some purple diamond bushes. And as you can see here, now it's not in the way. I had a lot of growth coming over like this. 
And this is everything that I cut. This one as well. We'll cut that. And I also cut some crepe myrtles. I had some stuff touching the uh, soffit and fascia there. You can see everything on the ground. Here are some of the branches that I cut, different thicknesses. This one was pretty thick right over here. And all of these. And I was able to trim all it up. It was actually banging up against the uh, side of the house there. So I was able to trim all those crepe myrtles up. And this one as well. I also have this tree right over here on the side of the house. I was able to trim all that up without going on the ladder. You usually have to go on a ladder to cut all that up, but you can see I was able to trim it and keep it away from the house. So right over here, I was able to trim up some of these seagull palms. As you can see over here, all the trimmings. And then I have this jasmine plant that always kind of grows over. I was able to trim all that off. And here's some more of it right over here. I was able to trim all that up, keep it against the fence. That's all the trimmings. And then I have some more right over here, a big one right over here. Got a lot of cleaning up to do. And then I was able to trim this rose bush right here. It was coming out all this way here. So all that's nice and trimmed up. And all that jasmine plant right over there. I'm going to trim this crepe myrtle. Hopefully this little area right over here. and clean now got all these crepe myrtles trimmed up i'll turn over here to the side so you can see the side profile so no more branches and stuff sticking out like that all clear right over here this is some sunshine ligustrum right over here i was able to trim this up nice too this was sticking out way past the fence and the top was getting really tall so i just trimmed that off like that and cut that up right there So the fun part is cutting all the bushes, as you can see over here, but the not so fun part is cleaning up all the trim. So I showed you the uh, jasmine plant back over there, over here, the rose bush, and I also trimmed this uh, purple diamond um, tree. It was actually a bush at one point, but it got so big. But you can see right over here, it cut this piece right here. This is an example of a 5 8 inch thick piece. And here's all the trimmings and everything over here. Here are some of the pieces that were cut. See, this is pretty thick. I was able to get all the way at the top. Here's another thick piece right here I cut. But I highly recommend that hedge trimmer. It's a great, awesome tool. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And as always, thank you all for watching.